Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another exciting session with John Coleman, Art Kirsch, and Bill Jordan. How you doing, Bill? Bill Jordan, embracing <laughs> the boom. It's another exciting edition. Uh, uh, you might be overselling just a little bit, so now I've got to no, up the energy. No, 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 no. <laughs> so uh, I have a question for you, Bill. You have uh, 87 uh, tenants that you live by, but you've, you've boiled them down to a manageable amount so that the rest of us mere mortals uh, can uh, maybe profit uh, from them in our, our personal lives. Uh, do you have, what are they, 14 or 15? Uh, well, I've got, I've got, I tout them as the 15 practices, but I mean, truth be told, in full disclosure, semi full disclosure, there are actually 16 because the 16th practice ties the previous 15 together and gives you a real reason to practice the 15 practices. So, <clears throat> and the so, 15 practices okay. came about last October because I'd been hearing some baby boomer friends of mine, contemporaries of mine, bemoan the fact that we were getting older and this is that, you know, this isn't working anymore and I'm slower and I'm getting wrinkles and, you know, it, it, it is what it is. And if it isn't the way you like it, well, then there's plastic surgery, whatever you want to do, you know, that's your life. But I came up with these 15 practices and they, when I practice them, and I've got to circle back, I've not mastered any of them, but when I come back to them, I do lead a calmer, uh, more fulfilling, and I think more fun life. Um, it just cuts through a lot of the, the clutter of, of, of life. And as I've told you guys before, uh, a lot of this is borrowing from the ancient philosophers of Plato and Cato and Seneca and all these guys that... Their society then, hundreds of years before Christ, they were dealing with the same stuff, the, the envy and jealousy and pride and all that stuff. And it's just a great way to live. And I, I, it's not just for baby boomers. I think it's for anybody. It's stuff that I wish I had grasped when I was 16 years old. Well, you know, so, one, Bill, of the practices, one of the practices that uh, uh, I try to live my life by is uh, don't buy at the top of the market. So... Uh, and, I, um, and I, I don't think that's I don't think that's on his list, Art. Well, I, I and I suck at it. So, uh, but John, I John, think Socrates have, said that. I think yes. that's a Socrates quote. Right. So, John, <laughs> do you have a fa do you have a favorite or Bill? Do you have a favorite? Uh, well, not a favorite, but one of they're all have to all be your they're all your children, so they're all your favorites. Uh, uh, but uh, do either one of you well, have uh, the, one that the, we could extrapolate on? The one I get the most uh, response to is calm is contagious. That's and that's number, number 10. 10. That's practice number, number 10, 10 is calm is contagious. And, I, and I've heard that actually said in quotes on videos or just little memes on Facebook or social media from two former Navy SEALs that talk about in training. That's what their training guys were telling them. Calm is contagious. If you're around people and everybody's kind of losing it, you know, it's, it's Rudyard Kipling's poem, If. If you can keep your head while all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. Bottom line is, you know, you're staying calm. Emotions are contagious. That's why when they put you in a comedy club, they got you all wedged in there together because once one person starts laughing, it's like a domino effect. Calm is the superpower. In fact, some days there's nothing going on that's even upsetting me, but I will remember that and just... Remember to slow my breathing while nothing is going on and just, you know, calm is contagious, almost like a almost like a mantra. So that's the one I get the most response uh, about. The one that I am working on right now is number 14, and that is today is a perfect day for me to mind my own business. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Now, that's, that's not telling one. someone else. That's not today's a good day for you to mind your own business. I'm not telling someone else what they should or shouldn't do, but I'm telling myself that I can mind my own business. If I'm scrolling, which is a rarity these days, I rarely scroll on Facebook because there's so much divisiveness and, and just mean-spiritedness, but there's, there's good stuff too. But I remind myself that if I see a, an inflammatory political post or something something that I find and I, and I struggle with the word of offensive, but it's like, you know, I can see that and just keep going. I don't have to let that ruffle my feathers and I don't have to get involved in that conversation or argument. You know, you don't have to attend every argument you're invited to. So this is, this is, this is, this is, this is key for me right now is 
yeah, today, actually every day is a perfect day for me to mind my own business. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. As as is number ten. Actually, they're all, they're all great. They're, all great. they're you know, and the other thing too is because when you say them out loud, I mean, there is like a there's a common thread through all of them. They're yeah. almost like cousins of each other. You know, it, it it really gets back to choices. We are our choices, and you can choose to get upset by something, or you can choose to not get upset by something. And well, we can choose to fill our mug with anything we want. Which which which, which brings me. That was to smooth. Thing. I'm having a lot of trouble minding my own business because, like John, I too am mindful of these wonderful mugs, and not minding my own business. I'm going to ask you if somebody wanted to have a cup of calm in the morning uh, or the afternoon. Uh, where could they possibly? That stuff. <laughs> is there a possibility that that mere civilians could enjoy uh, a, a cup of of calm? Well, I'm I'm a mere civilian, so certainly you can get this as a 15 ounce sturdy mug. It's not a cup; it's a mug. And uh, yeah, put 15 ounces of whatever you want in it: coffee, tea, hot chocolate, hot toddy beer, whatever you want. Uh, anyway, it's just a, a great reminder. It's an anchor for me during the day, especially first thing in the morning. I pour my very strong coffee in there. It's just reminding me as a baby boomer to embrace where I am in my life. So I am embracing the boom. So you go to Bill Jordan, and Jordan is spelled J-O-R-D-A-N, like my cousin Michael. Bill Jordan, embrace the boom.com, and you can find these mugs. I offer free shipping on all domestic orders. Um, so they make great gifts for fellow baby boomers. Uh, Christmas will be here before you know it, believe it or not. It's going to be pretty soon. Um, and uh, also there are links to the 15 or 16 video practices that I have that help us lead a calmer, uh, less worried about somebody else's business life. And those are all linked on there, too. So that's at BillJordanEmbraceTheBoom.com. Well, Bill, thank you, and I embrace the boom. And, and I way, embrace they, the boom. When the kids come by in the afternoon and I'm sitting on the porch with my embrace the boom mug, they say, <laughs> gee, Grandpa drinks a lot of coffee. Yeah, no, it's... sweetie, it's not always coffee. I, <laughs> I, I, get a, I get a text from them every so often saying, I think Grandpa's losing it. <laughs> <laughs> not but a bad thing. Anyway, Bill Jordan, always, always a pleasure. Uh, Thank you. And I look forward to the day that uh, we can all get together uh, on social distance. But for now, uh, this is really is really great uh, meeting you uh, every couple of days this way. It's, it's a lot of fun. And thanks well, for your practices. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys letting me uh, let me uh, kind of spread the spread the good news about Embrace the Boom. Good. Pleasure. See you. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.